good morning everyone we've actually returned to one of our favorite places here in El Nido I don't know if any of you can work it out just from this pathway for those of you that have seen our previous uh, videos and if you have watched our previous videos you'll definitely know from this entrance we've returned to Brother Island uh, where we stayed three or four days about two weeks ago we weren't planning on coming back, but then when we were in El Nido town, we kind of thought, oh, uh, we should have stayed longer since right now you're able to stay here during COVID for $50 with all meals included and everything. Normally this is like a $500 stay for the honeymoon suite. So we weren't going to make any videos. Like I said, we just came here to chill. I've just been working, editing and stuff. And pretty much our whole time here, well, I think there was one nice day, but besides that, it's just been raining, uh, crazy storms. Yesterday, we had the craziest storm ever. I think uh, Koran, the town, I think it actually flooded and it's never flooded before. Guys, okay, so a bird just flew through here and went straight into the window. He's on the inside. Whoa. Wait, I need to, uh, I need to make him go to the left, right? Yeah, we're just through hey, the door. Go that, go the opposite way. Whoa. Oh, he's yeah, he's panicking. Whoa, there we go. Oh, oh no, again. Open all the, the doors. Open the other doors. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. I was worried it was going to have a heart attack or something. Yeah, or maybe do some damage, damage. to his face or something. Yeah, he, he flew through and just slammed into that window like hard. They've never done that before. They do fly through sometimes, but we usually have all the doors open. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess he thought the door was open. Wild. Yeah, you can see even on a really bad weather day, this place, Brother Island, still looks amazing, the beach. Oh, here they are, check it out. That's that big guy. Come to watch the birds with me. Check it out. So that's the good thing about this island. You might not get sunsets all the day with the bad weather, but you'll at least get the birds, which might even be way more impressive than a sunset. Get that. <laughs> more here. Whoa. Look at that group over there. <laughs> Everywhere. It literally is just thousands, thousands and thousands of birds. It goes on for about 40 minutes usually. <laughs> so Carol didn't go with me to the beach, but it seems like she had her own adventures here. <laughs> yeah, so I was inside and the, the, the doors were open and again a bird went inside and I don't know, it was like crazy and went towards me and I was like, ah, screaming. 
<laughs> and I was filming at the, t the time, like, uh, so I'm gonna boring. put the footage. So it is the uh, next morning. We're gonna be leaving soon. Once again, we're able to have the awesome breakfast here on the, the beach. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I thought I'd be able to film some storms or something, but the weather's actually been good ever since I started this video. So yeah, no storm footage, I guess. But it's good anyway, because we're gonna be leaving soon. Don't want to get the boat back and the scooter back to El Nido in a storm so yeah it's better that the weather's like this and the main part of this video is to show the new place that we're going to be moving to on um, on the beach in El Nido we're going to be moving to a new accommodation like a little beach house for the end of our stay here in uh, El, El Nido and the Philippines so yeah that's the main reason that we're making this video to show the new place Carol, so now is the real goodbye. Yeah, we thought the, the last time was the, the last time that we came here, but we came back. So yeah, now it's the real goodbye, but maybe next year, if we come yeah. back to the Philippines, I think we, we'll want to, to come back to the island, right? Yeah, I think you're definitely gonna see this resort one day in our videos, we just don't know when. Yeah. Yeah, with COVID and everything as well. <laughs> yep. No plans yet. So we've just arrived after about an hour on the bike. So we're in a new neighborhood here in El Nido. I've never shown this on the on the vlog. It's called Lugadia. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's right next to Karong Karong. The beach is actually a joint. So Carol's just gone in here, Buko Resort, because it's the same owner of the place that we're staying. So she's going to get the key and just give you a quick view of this place. So. Yeah, you can see they're building a big fancy hotel back there but there's still local areas like this with no developments more hotels and stuff back there with cool views and i think down this alleyway is the beach see the beach right back there check it out super high tide today almost no beach <laughs> This is rare, right, Carol? Yeah. The tide? Probably because of the rain. Yeah, the storm. Alright, here's our crib. The beach house. <laughs> this is crazy. The beach has disappeared. There you go, beach house. So now that we've checked in, I'll take you on a tour of our new beach house. It's $27 per night, which is more expensive than other places, but that's because this is actually for eight people, not just two people like the other places. And since it's our last few weeks in El Nido, we just wanted to stay at a really nice place right on the beach in a good location. And that is exactly what this place is. So where to start? You have this almost like nice little garden area, I guess, right on the front. That's where we just came from, right on the beach. Really never seen the tide like this. That's that's because there's been storms lately. But yeah, you got all these cool trees and stuff. 
This is how it looked from the front. So it's kind of like uh, Kubo Nippo Hut style. The walls and everything, all very natural. Got some cool artwork here as well. Check that out. Then here, I love this area already. Like this is an amazing hangout area. So you can eat here or you can eat there looking at the, the ocean. Awesome hangout spot for more cool people. I love it, Carol, already. Spacious. Yeah, super spacious. Like you could even have a little party here. Check this out as well. We have an actual tree going through the building. <laughs> That's cool that they didn't damage the tree. They just left it there. And then this area here is the kitchen. Also very spacious. And I think we have pretty much everything here, right? Yeah. Got a nice open area here. I think this is the bottle of water. They even have a nice cover on this thing. We have wine glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, check it out, wine glasses. Yeah, this is like a family place, right? Yeah, or a group yeah. of friends. Yeah, it fits eight people, so yeah, if you're coming with a fr with friends or family, I think it's very nice. Yeah. What else we got in here? All right, just the other pots and pans. Looking good. Oh, we got some tea. I might have to steal their tea. Sorry about that. <laughs> this house runs on love, laughter, and lots of coffee. Sounds good to me. I'll take you on the tour of the bedrooms now. So there's two of them here. We're in this one. So as you can see, it's for three people. That's our big bed. Looks very big and comfy. And I just opened these windows now so you can lock them. And I think this is another access to our property. If you don't want to go along the beach, you can just walk down this alleyway here from the main street. And yeah, just once again, everything really is spacious here. I also just opened this window here, so... Yeah, you can speak to people out here or something. I'll get some natural light. Wow, cool photo. Yeah, El Nido. Yeah, there you go, El Nido, the limestone cliffs. And we have uh, AC and fan, both options. Oh, we have both. Yeah, that's cool. And then even the bathroom, yep, very spacious and yeah, kind of all natural looking, I guess. There's the sink. And then the other bedroom in here, it's not really prepared because we, we told them we're not going to use it. But yeah, you can see it's like a bunk bed. So one person up there, two here, two here. Yeah, just a bit of a nicer layout. I like this wood here. Um, oh, this is cool. Check this out, the patterns. Some cool artwork there as well. It's a great painting. Now oh, we got a map here as well. So this is El Nido. Right now we're around this area here. So El Nido town is there. We were at Brother Island, check that out. So we just came from here. We got a boat all the way down to Teniguiban. Then we cut in the road here, and then we came all this way about an hour and right here to Kurong Kurong. And just to give you an idea, this is where all the island hopping islands are. So Kadlao there, um, Pinag Buyatan, which is one of the best videos that we've made around here. We kayak from here, Vanilla Beach. So that gives you a pretty good idea of where everything is. And Sibaltan is on this side as well. So we've stayed on this side. Yeah, pretty cool, cool map. We also got Nakpan up here. So we've been there as well, Nakpan, Duli. Yeah, so this was a find by Carol. Yeah, as usual. Yeah, as usual. I think you chose a great spot yeah. for our last few days. I like it already. Yeah, me too. Yeah, just a great place. The whole design, everything, the layout, like nice and spacious. Need to invite some people over here. You even got a little seat here. I guess this is to wash your feet if you're coming from the beach and sit down. Take a look out out here again. It's Karong Karong Beach, but uh, by the road, it's a different section. But the beach is all the same. 
but we're pretty much at the far end so you can see the beach ends here and behind that hill is a uh, vanilla beach so we're very close to a vanilla beach and back there look you can see uh, that's the big cliff from, that you see from El Nido town so that's where we've kayaked to uh, Papaya Beach 7 Commando around there yeah, so it's pretty cool that we're gonna just be hearing the nice sound of the ocean all the time, even when we sleep. So we're just gonna head to one of our favorite restaurants here in El Nido now called Bella Vita. It's where we always go to get pizza the majority of the time. And it's actually on Karong Karong. So um, yeah, we can just walk along the beach to get there. But it's pretty much at the, the far end over there. So I think it'll take about 15, 20 minutes. Check out this boat. It's like going through the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Karong Karong, pretty much the whole beachfront is just like hotels and guest houses, right? Yeah, yeah. But at least here they left the tree, so it's yeah. not like El Nido proper town. El Nido, they just destroyed all the trees. Yeah, so here I think it looks nicer than El Nido. Yeah, it does. Check out the size of that hotel there. So pretty much all these are places to stay, or bars, restaurants. But yeah, as Carol mentioned, it is still very green. Guys, so check out this hotel. Looks like something from another planet. <laughs> Definitely unusual design. Looks like it'll be pretty expensive though with that pool. But yeah, I don't think I've seen any buildings like that before. <laughs> unusual, right? So this is Bella Vita right here. We always love it because it's right on the beach. Always a nice view, right? What? Always a nice view here. Oh, yeah. Good pizza with a nice view. <laughs> I have a new friend. New friend. <laughs> How's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> so the margarita is 380. This guy really wants some. Get off. <laughs> he really wants some margarita. And you got the quattro fromage here, right? Yeah. 390. Yeah. Yeah, the pizza looks great here. Hey, no. <laughs> no. Dude, you got fish over there. <laughs> Everywhere. And you want pizza. Italian cat. Italian cat. Hey, no. <laughs> Before we didn't have a beach and now the tide has gone completely down, right? Yeah, it's crazy the huge difference. Like it was there, and now it's I don't know how many meters away. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a sandbar, we could probably walk to it. I saw people walking along there. Well, there's people over there right now. Yeah, so our home, look how hidden it is because of all the trees. Can't really see it. Maybe we should go barefoot. 
no Carlos there, so easy to walk. Who would have thought earlier when we arrived that we would be walking all over here? Brother Island, we have the crazy bird show every day at uh, sunset time. And I guess here in Lugadia, sometimes you get this uh, yeah, pretty awesome sandbank that appears at low tide. <laughs> So I'm gonna close this video out now. Just being sat here at this desk uploading a video. The internet speed's pretty good here. I think it's gonna take about an hour to do the upload and the video is around 2.5 gigabytes. So yeah, that's not bad. It's not blazing fast, but it's not slow either. So that's just fine. And that's another reason why we came to this area. In El Nido, usually like El Nido town, or the Karong Karong area has pretty good internet now. Some of you have asked us about that, how the internet is because yeah, in the past El Nido is a bit famous for having really bad internet and even last year when we came, it was terrible. Sometimes it would take even days to upload one video, which was crazy. In El Nido and even Karon, the two main tourist attractions around this area, I think they've run fiber optic just late last year, so um, yeah, obviously some places here even have blazing fast internet and other ones yeah just at least average so we can work with it obviously we've been here for what six seven months now so and we work online so if we're able to get by i think um yeah it can be done can be a bit tricky in some areas and i can also explain how we've been doing uploads when we're in um, areas that aren't really touristy some areas where we don't even have wi-fi at the places that we stay so that's usually just with the, the phone. We're using Smart here, one of the companies. And for eight gigabytes, we pay about $10. But if I'm doing the uploads, obviously I go through that really quick and then I have to just keep putting on load. But um, yeah, it does cost quite a lot of money because sometimes you can go through eight gigabytes in less than a week depending how many videos we upload and obviously just from browsing as well so that's how we've been doing it usually i put the hotspot on my phone then connect to it from the laptop and then just upload the video and it takes a few hours but yeah like i said we've been making it work and we've been able to do our job so far here in the philippines in el nido so yeah it's not so bad so if you like this video as always just drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one.